This is an amazing story from the Bible, from the New Testament, that Jesus and God had written on earth. They empowered men with the power of God to be like prophets and also to get these books written that are 100% true and real and a guidebook for how we should live. We are supposed to have faith in God and Jesus. All the love on earth we know comes from God and Jesus. Believe in God and Jesus and you'll be saved. Let's read from this Bible true story, this Bible passage. It's pretty amazing. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Praise Jesus. You don't want to pray to a book. You don't, you don't ever pray to an it. You pray to God. Praise Jesus. This book will burn in the lake of fire if it isn't destroyed first, like everything on earth, because it even mentions the devil one time. None of that can make it into heaven. But this is the only God book we have, the best book on earth, the New Testament, and also the Old Testament, that are 100% real and true about God. Matthew 19, 29 to Matthew 26. Well, this is actually Matthew chapter 20. For the kingdom of, of the heavens, the kingdom of heaven, <coughs> for the kingdom of the heavens, that's more than heaven. That's all the heavens too, where the angels and other people maybe, and animals and beings live aliens who are angels the heavens all the heavens the kingdom of the heavens <clears throat> for the kingdom of the heavens is like a man who is a householder who went out early in the morning to hire workmen for his, vi his vineyard all the heavens are like one man because it's an it but it's so good and beautiful and created by God that it's about as important as one man who has a soul. We all have a soul. That's how special and important all of us are. Heaven, the heavens, everything there is, is like a man who is a householder who went out early in the morning to hire workmen for his vineyard. And having agreed with the workmen <laughs> for a denarius a day, the, all the workmen agreed to a denarius a day. That was their like pay. He sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And to those he said, you also go into the vineyard and whatever is right, I will give to you. And they went. And again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing and said to them, why have you been standing here idle all day? Why, do you, why have you been standing here all the day idle? <laughs> they said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. And so he paid them. And when the evening, or he didn't pay him yet, but I already read the story, so I know what happens. And when the evening fell, the master of the vineyard said to the steward, call the workmen and pay them their wagers, beginning from the last ones to the first. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, they received each a denarius. But he went to the last ones first who, who had showed up only the last hour of working. He had been doing that all day. He had been saying to various people throughout the day, going to various people who he found not working around the town or wherever it was. He said, you work in the vineyard too. If you want money, I'll pay you. I'll give you a denarius. And he started the, at the beginning of the day and said, I'll give you a denarius if you work. And so some people worked all day. And by the end of the day, some of the people had only worked one day who he went to near the end of the day and said, I'll give you a denarius if you work. So then when those hired about the 11th hour came and there are 12 hours in the day. They each received a denarius because he went to the last ones first. He began paying them. The ones who were there last 
to the ones who were there at the first of the day, and he paid the denarius. And when the first ones, when the first ones came who had been there all day, they supposed that they would receive more, and they themselves also received each a denarius. And when they received it, they murmured against the household. They murmured against the householder, saying, "These last ones worked one hour, and you had them be paid equal to us." who bore the burden of the day. I hope I don't ever act as mean as they did. And he said, you have made them equal to us. That felt wrong. They said they were paid equal to the ones who suffered. Who knows how much on earth, but the ones who worked all day and felt really bad in the sun. And he said, and he said, we bore, they said they bore the burden of the day and the scorching heat. And you paid us the same as the people who were only there an hour? But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I am doing nothing unrighteous to you. Do you not agree with me for a denarius? Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what is yours and go. I want to give to this last one even as I have given to you. Is it not unlawful for me to do what I wish with what is mine? Or is your eye evil because I am good? Wow. <clears throat> okay, whatever that means is something really good. Thus shall the last be first and the first last. That is a huge thing to understand about God and Jesus. Thus shall the last be first and the first last in the kingdom of heaven. Praise God, praise Jesus. Believe in God and Jesus and you'll be saved. Sometimes you have to be the last of others on earth to be the first in heaven. Praise God, praise Jesus.